my favourite subject of all, cinematic. Changing just a few settings on your DJI Mini 3 Pro will help your footage from going like this. video shooting settings. Flying around in auto mode can produce some pretty decent shots, but if you want to have more control over the image, you need to be in pro mode. Pro mode allows you to change things like the shutter speed and ISO, which can help make your footage look even better. You can see here in these shots of me flying around in auto mode that although they are usable shots, things like the exposure and white balance keep changing. The sun shining down on things is a little too bright and I find that it can make things look a little too pasty. Now looking at these shots that were taken five minutes apart from the previous ones where I've now adjusted the pro settings which I'll go through in a minute, everything is balanced across the image and the sun isn't making things look too bright. So what pro settings do you need? To switch into pro mode, press the auto button in the bottom right corner of the screen. You'll then see all these different options appear which you can now click on to change. First up, resolution. Make sure you choose the highest resolution possible, in this case it will be 4K. Then you need to choose your frame rate. I used to shoot in 24 but now I shoot in 30 as I found 24 to be a little too choppy and stuttery at times but this is going to be based on your decision of what you want to shoot in. If you wanted to shoot slow motion then you would select 60 frames per second but you won't be able to shoot in 4K so select 2.7K and then 60 FPS. Next is shutter speed. This needs to be double your frame rate. So with my frame rate at 30, my shutter speed needs to be 1 over 60. If you're shooting in 24, then your shutter speed will be 1 over 50 as you can't select 1 over 48. And if you're shooting in 60 frames per second, then your shutter speed will be 1 over 120. Your ISO needs to be as low as possible, so I'll keep it at 100, and then your white balance needs to be set. If you don't know how to set your white balance, a good way to find out is to click on the white balance whilst your drone is facing the area you are planning to film. Then click on auto and let it set itself. Then make sure you click off auto so it locks it in. If you leave it on auto, then it will keep changing whilst you're shooting throughout your flight. You'll notice that since we went into pro mode, the picture has become way too overexposed. To correct this, you'll need to put an ND filter on the lens. The brighter the day, the higher number ND filter you need to have on. Next up, gimbal and drone movement settings. To access these settings from the home screen, press the three dots in the top right corner. Click on control, then scroll down to gain and expo tuning. Here you have the option to change your Cine, Normal and Sport flying mode movement settings. Make sure Cine is selected at the top. These settings are split into two sections, the aircraft and gimbal. Let's start from the top and work our way down. The first is the aircraft settings and the angular velocity. 
In simple terms, this basically means how fast or slow the drone will turn left or right. So in the old DJI menu, this would have been the yaw speed. Underneath angular velocity, you have yaw smoothness. This basically means how quick the drone stops turning when you let go of the sticks. Having a high angular velocity and a low yaw smoothness will result in your footage looking like this. You can see that the movement is too quick and not smooth at all. If we change it to a low angular velocity and high yaw smoothness, it will give us these results. You can see that this is much more slower and smoother, which will help make your footage look more cinematic. Moving down to Expo settings. Expo basically means how responsive the drone is once you move the sticks further away from the centre point on the controller. If you look at the graph, I've set mine in a kind of S shape, which gives me a better, smoother control of the sticks. This is one of them, like all of these settings, where you're gonna to need to play around and see what works best for you. Moving on to the gimbal settings. Max control speed basically means how fast or slow the gimbal will rotate up or down, and the tilt smoothness is how fast or slow the gimbal will stop moving when you let go of the wheel. You can see here with the control speed high and the smoothness low, the movement once again is too quick. But with the control speed now low and the smoothness high, it gives us a more smoother look. You might find the numbers I've used too slow, so like I said before, this is one of them where you need to get the drone in the air and change the numbers around and see what works best for you. But keeping the turning speeds low and the smoothnesses high will give you that slow cinematic look. A tip when changing these settings is make sure you change the mode on the controller to a different mode and then back to cine mode after you've made any changes. For example, if you change the tilt smoothness mid-flight, I found that it doesn't register the change until you swipe to a different mode, then swipe back to cine, or vice versa. Play around with it all, have some fun, and check out my cinematic videos in the description below. Thank you.